Hello everyone. Well, I hope you're ready for some more wildlife watching because today uh, I brought you here to one of my absolute favourite places to watch wildlife and that's Fern Nature Reserve. Now, it's a bit quiet today really, this nice weather. Nice for a walk but it's not that good for turning up um, rare birds which is what this place is really famous for. However, I'm sure that when we go on our walk today we'll be able to find something interesting to look at. Now the plan today is to head all the way down there, I don't know if you can see that behind me, right down to the end. And that's quite a walk. Uh, and when I first used to come here, you actually used to be able to drive down there. But as you'll see as we go on our walk, over the years, the coast has, uh, coastal erosion has happened, the, uh, the road has actually washed away. So I'm sure we're going to find something interesting, but got quite a long walk, so need to get going heading off this way and then all the way down to the point. So let's go this way. So just making a first little detour on our walk and that's just to go up here. This building here is Warren Cottage. This is where they um, watch a lot of bird migration going on. They, they do some ringing of birds down here as well. But I wanted to show you somewhere I spend a lot of time over the years, but I just need to go up these steps um, just around here. So come this way. So as you can see here, I'm at a migration watch point. And this is where you can stand and watch the birds coming down towards you. We've already had a few swallows going that way. Um, but those of you who have ever been in my, doing any of my maths lessons will probably recognise this because this often appears in some of the work we do on data handling. Um, this is, a, as I said, the migration watch point. For some reason, is known as numpties. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe because you've got to be pretty daft to stand here for hours on end. But not much happening today, as I said, a few swallows, but just thought I'd show you this. This is the famous Numpty's watch point. You get a great view, don't you? Right, well, I can't stand here all day because we've got to get on with our walk. And I think it's a three and a half miles to the end, so we better get going. I've headed a little, a little bit further on down the road now and you can see the, just under the sand here there's the edge of the concrete road However, if you look up here you can see that you couldn't possibly drive any further unless you've got a special vehicle that can go on the sand as you can see there the sea's washed away the whole road actually the slabs of the old road there and there's all bits of concrete laying around and actually this has happened at this spot um, just last winter used to be able to go a bit further before the road ran out So this is happening really quickly all the time as the seas washing away this part of the coast very very quickly So we're gonna to have to go on the beach now if we want to get any further Now just have a look at this bit here. This is the new bit I was talking about that has got uh, damage just during the winter. You can actually see the layers of the road there broken up I always think it's amazing to think that that sea that's out there now looks really calm is capable of doing this during the winter when it's in it, when the, the big storms are on. Shows the power of the sea, isn't it? Well, uh, I've just stopped here about a, a mile in now just across the beach here where the road has been washed away and just behind me up there you can see that little bit of land that's where the road comes back again so we're going to head up that way in a minute uh, and then we can continue on our walk and just noticing actually all the time we've been walking across there there have been swallows passing overhead going south now it's late summer now and, and all those birds are beginning their autumn migration heading that way and eventually they'll be back in Africa where they spent last winter. 
It's been amazing watching those. There's another one behind me here just going past. Oh, a couple there. They're definitely on the move today, so that's exactly what I need to do. Just need to head that way, so find some more interesting wildlife to look at. Just stopped on the way now, just by these little patch of yellow flowers here. Absolutely teeming with small white butterflies all over the place. Well, I've had to stop for a little bit here. As you can see in front of me, I'm going to have to take a bit of a detour because the road has completely collapsed at this point. I think I'm going to have to go. Just seen a, uh, a few turnstones down here on the beach. You can probably hear them calling. Really nice little way. There's as the name suggests, they do flip over little pebbles and stones to look for insects underneath. And uh, they're here for the winter. They've bred miles away to the north up in the Arctic Circle. It's amazing to see those back here for the winter. Also, while, while I've just been standing here, just have a look down here by, by my feet. Now, you might notice there's these like, little like spider webs. Um, but actually these are made by a caterpillar of the brown-tailed moth and sometimes when you come down here these can cover the entire area and when the caterpillars hatch they eat every single leaf on some of these bushes now I do know you've got to be very careful not to touch those because some people can get really allergic reactions to the hairs on the caterpillars so I think I'm just going to look from here Now I've reached an area known as Chalk Bank now, which you can see behind me is a full of this low scrub. Um, and this seems to funnel birds through as they make their way down the point. In fact, over the years I've seen some really rare birds in this area. Uh, it's not quite so exciting today, but I have noticed quite a few willow warblers in here. Now these are birds that don't nest here, but they've, they've nested further north and then they're already on their autumn migration making their way south and feeding as they go along and eventually they'll head all the way down there and all the way to Africa oh well, in fact actually there's one there just on the top of the tree oh a lovely little bird it's amazing to think that's going to head all the way to Africa only a few centimetres long. Well, just like the willow warbler, I need to head a bit further south, although not quite as far as Africa. In fact, I've got about another couple of miles to go and then I'll have to stop because we'll run out of land, we'll be at the end of the point, so let's keep going. Well, you can see I've reached the lighthouse now. It looks absolutely fantastic, doesn't it, in this light? But not quite at the end yet. Still got a little way to go till we reach the very end of the point, so let's head this way. Well, I'm almost at the end now. But I've just stopped here because you might have noticed quite a few old buildings here. And this shows you that this area I'm now in had a different purpose in the past. In fact, it used to be a really big military base, especially in the Second World War. And I can see they've got a little sign here that tells you that this 
building here was used to store ammunition and guns. Well, I can see all sorts of different buildings here. that people often think they are hummingbirds but it's actually an insect. You can just see it feeding on the flowers down here. almost at the end. I've decided just to come up here uh, into this old building here which actually used to house a, an enormous guns during the Second World War. Uh, and you can almost see behind me you can see some of the old buildings there from the camp that was here. all the way down. I think some of them have decided to not to cross the sea just yet because I've seen just over here there's quite a few just sat on the railings. So we're nearly there. We can see the end from where we are so we can get right to the Final marker now at, at the point tells you how far away you are from all these different places. But I'm not quite there yet. I just have about a hundred meters or so to go until I run out of land. And I'm, I'm going to do that just to, for the satisfaction of doing it and getting to the very end. So I'm going to head down that way now until I reach the very end of Spurs. I made it. I'm at the very end of Spurn Point. As you can see, there's no more land left. I'm at the very, very end. And across there, in the background, is Lincolnshire. So I had a really good time, haven't we? Even on a quiet day like this. No big rare birds or anything, but loads of migrating swallows and willow warblers, interested insects, and some fascinating history as well so there's always something to see here at Spurn and now I've just checked on my phone actually slight miscalculation I just have the small matter of the four mile walk back to the start again so I think I'd better have a little rest have a drink of water and then start heading back and I'll see you in the next video